from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. Hey, welcome to Valentine's Day. Almost, it's just about there. Normally, it's pretty chilly, and temperatures be in the 30s in the morning, 50s in the afternoon. We're going 50s in the morning and 60s in the afternoon. The only thing that's kind of ugly is that. That is a lot of wind that's going to be blowing across the area starting tomorrow morning and continuing through the daytime hours. We're talking about radar showing a lot of showers across the area. The question mark is how much rain will fall because we do have with this storm system, it's going to move through fairly fast, but there's often on periods of rain from morning into the afternoon. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. But we do have across areas to the north, uh, as we mentioned, winter storm watches into Kansas. If you're trying to drive up into that area, be aware of that as we go on into tomorrow. Winter storm warnings are in the red. Notice northern Arizona still has some winter storm warnings in effect. That shows the power of that storm. Fire danger is down along the Big Bend area of Texas, and we all have wind advisories across Texas and Oklahoma. So here comes that storm system, and it's moving at a pretty good clip. So it was, uh, again, making some headway across the area of Arizona today and into New Mexico. Now it'll be in southwest Kansas before it's all said and done. So the rain in the morning, and then by afternoon, we'll get this surge coming in behind it with drier air and windy, windy, windy. All the rain will move off to the east. Still some storms out to the west. And the second part of the storm system, we're kind watching this storm track because it's still a little wobbly and it looks like it should stay north while we get a chance of a few severe storms in southeastern Oklahoma and the eastern part of our viewing area and we'll have snow up to near Wichita so that's the second storm system coming through so that will be very interesting on Wednesday that'll move out but man it gets cold on Thursday in fact it'll be really cold with some gusty winds out of the north and temperatures most likely in the 30s and some wind chills in the teens for Thursday Friday improves a little bit, and then as we get on into Saturday and Sunday, there's kind of a brief reprieve. Monday's pretty good, but then there's another storm system coming in with another chance of some cold rain sometime around Wednesday. So it's going to be an active weather pattern as we work our way all the way into next week, so be ready for that. As far as looking at what we expect temperatures, it's a roller coaster ride, and it's expected in February and March for the next three weeks. Some of these bottoms uh, we're going to have to be watching when it gets really cold because there are chances that it's cold enough for snow. But so far we don't have anything real significant here, but it's awful close. We're in the 50s to upper 40s at this hour with rain out west. Sprinkles trying to develop now in our area. Wind advisories in effect across all of our area tomorrow. So some of these winds are going to be gusting tomorrow morning around 30 miles per hour to get you going with rain and showers and storms. Alan and Stephen will help you with that. Then during the day it just stays gusting and then up to around 40 or higher in the afternoon. So again, that wind will blow and blow until tomorrow night when the winds finally will die down. So that'll be some welcome news. Rainfall, look for the rain conveyor belt to be working really well starting around 2 to 4 o'clock in the morning here in eastern Oklahoma. Some could be heavy at times. And then you see this fine little line here. A lot of times that's indicative on our models of some strong gusty winds with a leading edge of uh, that having some wind gusts probably around 50 miles an hour. So a little bit higher probability on the south side to near Tulsa by about 6 to 8 o'clock in the morning. That's why Alan and Steve will come in handy for you tomorrow morning. Notice how this is also wrapping around. So by 9 to 10, that's pretty much out of the picture. And then we have this big dry wedge coming in across the area. But that'll give us 60s to near 70. But there's the winds of 40 miles an hour. Balloon bouquet, that's a balloon bouquet warning I'm going to give you right now. Not great. All right, by the time we get on into Wednesday, we're going to have a day in which we'll have south winds and temperatures in the afternoon near 70, but a threat of a few stronger severe thunderstorms in our southeast part of our viewing area and snow maybe on the northwest side near Ponca City. That'll lift and pull on out, but needless to say, it's still going to be cold on Thursday morning and then Thursday afternoon. We're only in the 30s for highs. Not much precipitation, half inch to an inch likely. That'll probably be the best. And the best time for rain is going to be from pretty much about 4 o'clock until about 8 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. But the wind is pretty much all day, so be ready. All right, 53 here at midnight with scattered showers trying to develop. Good chance of rain only at about 100% at the 7 o'clock in the morning. And then by afternoon, boy, that temperature looks good. But those winds look bad, wind advisories. And then by the time we get on into Wednesday, it's good before we have a little bit of a cold rain, maybe Wednesday night. Then it's like on Thursday, it's like temperatures in the 30s. Oh, my goodness. That's kind of a reality check for we're still in February. <laughs> maybe instead of roses, you should give people hairspray tomorrow. That would be a very good <laughs> idea. And if you're thinking about using your umbrella, think twice. <laughs>